Zone versus um, Lost Zone. One prize box. It's gonna be a toolbox Lost Zone. It's gonna be really fun. Moltres is in the prizes. Filipino right now is standing at the top of the ranking. He's been KOing everybody. He's not lost a single game here. In Ultric. He's our champion right now for now. Let's see. Pokestop start. Strong start here. No! Bad start! Yikes! Forced to trekking shoes. Maybe we should have trekking shoes first. That's tough. What do we draw? Two Roaring Moon. No, anything else? That's it. Turn. Uh, Roaring Moon does not like going first. I'm pretty sure he lost the... The coin flip because it does not want to go first. I know that. Next ball to start for Robin. Going for the Comfy. Comfy into another Comfy. Cram. To be honest, Robin can put some damage on that Galarian Moltres. It's not great. But he can start putting some dents here. It would be nicer to put some damage on the Roaring Moon. But he really can't. He can't do that. Ugh. Robin, look it through his deck. I mean, it's a last box deck, so there's a lot of options. You can uh, be... Iron Hands is useless here, but Char Radiant Charizard is going to be amazing. Uh, Radiant Greninja. Oh, I know he runs Radiant Charizard. But Radiant Greninja, Radiant Charizard are really good. Radiant Charizard re really good for this matchup. Um, I'm sure we run another Roaring Moon ourselves. Um, whoa, be careful. Relax. Relax, Filippo. All right, Robin gets the puck stop immediately. Also whiffs everything. Gets one one pal pad. What is that? What the hell is that? I don't even know what the hell that is. What is that? Kind of lost the lost zone. What 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 kind of toolbox is this? All right, Robin gets battle VIP. Obviously, really wants it, and he's. Uh, del you don't want to lose those energies, to be honest. You don't want to lose that dark energy because of the Roaring Moons. You're going to need them. Robin is... Okay, so he's going to lose the energies, unfortunately. Let's see what we get here. Cram and potentially another comfort, or we're we gonna play something else. There's a nice thing about these toolbox decks is you could run anything you want. A lot of people run uh, Greninja. This deck is running Charizard. The nice thing about running Charizard is you only need two fires and you never have to worry about it. Uh, whereas if you're running Greninja, you might have to run three three blue, and you still might have to worry about it <laughs> because you don't want to lost box or lost zone any of your energies. Robin is having a good time here. Uh, I think he just is missing one comfort, but besides that, he's, he's exactly got what he wants on board. All he needs is to start getting some damage, uh, some some more confes active. He is missing on a lot of switches. I don't think he has any switches in hand. Oh, he does, he does. He has two switches. Okay, so we're going to attach retreat. Confed gets us a look here on the Mirage Gate. It's great. Play another Gumphy, switch into it, and now we can actually cram the Skidarian Moltres. Fortunately, we cannot do anything to the Roaring Moon. But hitting Galarian Moltres, uh, it's not the greatest thing, to be honest. It's not going to do anything. Because you'd have to boss in the Galarian Moltres to ever KO it. Uh, it's, it's okay for Roaring Moon to just never attack with it. The question is, can Roaring Moon actually get away? Can, can Galarian Moltres actually retreat? That's the question. I don't think she can. He has to switch it out. Okay, picks up the nest ball. Not sure for what. Well, I guess he can pick up 
Growing Moon whenever he needs it. There's the switch card into the cram. 110 damage onto the cram. Good for Robin here. Robin did a lot of work, guys. Filippo pulled an I Iona, I think. He just pulled an Iona, which is great. He really... I, I don't know if he runs Iona, actually. Is that Iona? Yeah, that's Iona. He needed the Iona. Because he has no way to play anything. So one more attachment in Iona into a dark patch can win him this game. Can get him where he needs to go. Also, he has the potential to go for the poke stop and get more draws. It's going to be really nice here. Filippo is here in a good position here, I think. There's the dark patch. Oof. Way too much waste, but Professor's research is going to be great here next turn. There's the poke stop. We do get a dark patch. We're activated the Roaring Moon, but we cannot retreat the Galarian Moltres, unfortunately. We can't even activate the uh, Roaring Moon. We don't even have any energy. Pokemon Catcher, the Charizard then. But he can just switch it out next turn. Damn, Filippo's having a bad time here, guys. Not drawing into what he needs. Robin's top deck's pretty bad here, but let's see if he can make it happen. He does get the option to puck stop. One, two, three. I think we have a nest ball as well, so we're fine. Uh, sorry, we have a switch in hand, so we're fine here. Worst case scenario. There it is. There's a switch. Oh no, that's a pokey gear. Never mind. Pokey gear is really good here, guys. Yikes. Bad. We got a Clara. We don't want a Clara right now. What the hell? What are we gonna do, what are we gonna do with a Clara? Pick up two energy. Yikes. This is bad, guys. We picked up a Clara. This is gonna hurt. Um, uh, honestly, Robin's not having a great time either. He might... Uh, he's not locked in, though, but he's just not having a blast. He doesn't get to activate his Mirage Gate this turn. He doesn't get the Colorus. <clears throat> this is the only downfall for the Charizard build in the Lost Zone. Is that you are not going to get draws. So, you basically get stuck really easy. Claire is uh, not great here, but I guess we start attaching, I guess. We don't have a switch, really? Why are we running cross, cross switcher? We, have, we literally run six switches. Okay, Robin passes. Nothing to do here. Got locked out. Wow. F Filippo, really smart, finding out that the Charizard was out of place. Played a little bit too early. And I'm actually really surprised that uh, Filippo starting with the poke stop when he has Professor's Research in hand. That's signaling that he does not want to toss his hand out. Instead goes for the Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball can find him a Mew. Also can find him a Greninja. Greninja makes sense because he needs some energy in the, the, the trash, but he doesn't even have any energy in his hand. To throw, he literally just threw out his only energy, didn't he? Yeah, he just threw out his only energy. Because he, he would rather dark batch it. And now he's going to re-research. Wow, huge research. This is really bad. Did not want to research there, guys. I can tell he did not want to research. Took him a while to do it. No energies. No energy still. Damn, that's big. Did not draw any energy. Okay, there's an earthen vessel. That's perfect. That's what he needed. That's crazy because he did not draw any energy. One more energy left.
All right. Um, now we can toss out the energy with an Ultra Ball and with the Greninja. Man, he has so much draw power. There's the Galarian Moltres. I don't think he can retreat. He needs one more energy. Oh my god, that's the attachment for the turn. That's true. Now he can retreat. And Roaring Moon can KO really well. This is a great turn here for uh, Filippo because Robin is not ready for it. There's the Dark Patch. Filippo here, uh, Robin needs to make a Roaring Moon happen right now. Because now with his Charizard gone, there's nothing that can KO this Roaring Moon. He's also not a high number of uh, Lost Zones, so he cannot even activate his Mirage Gates or Sableyes. So he's pretty much stuck right now. He needs to Comfe. Mirage gets in hand. Oh man, he's uh, this is not great, guys. Robin needs to nest ball in the Roaring Moon. Okay, there's the nest ball. Oh, no, he needs cross switcher, I guess. Cross switcher can help him get that KO. In the back. That would be great, actually, if he can... Oh, my God, he can cross switcher here. But what can he attack with? He can't even Mirage Gate right now, can he? He can, because he doesn't have a Colorus. He needs one more Comfe. He needs a Comfe. Damn, so this is not going to get a KO. Oh, no, it does. It does actually get a KO. 220. Yo, it does get the KO. This is great. This is amazing for Robin. He's finding the way... But he also needs to start setting up for the second uh, Roaring Moon. Now when Roaring Moon comes back at him, yeah, there it is. He needs to get the Charizard back and he needs those Dark Patches back. And there's a Roaring Moon in the trash can. You need to bring it back. I guess you, don't, you have another one in the deck, I guess. Robin Scholz is doing really good, guys. Figured it out. Was able to pull out the cross switcher. Amazing play there. Not a, not a lot of Lost Zone decks play the cross switcher. That's crazy. These Europeans love the cross switcher. It's amazing to see it in action. Amazing there. All... all uh, the retaliation we can do here is to KO the Cram, and that's not great for Filippo. Because now we're putting Roaring Moon up to be KO'd. And it's really easy for Robin to just come in and KO the Roaring Moon with a Roaring Moon of his own. And then when his Roaring Moon dies, he can just go ahead and KO the last Roaring Moon with his Charizard. So right now, it's looking like Robin is a little bit ahead from what I'm seeing. One prizers on board, no way for Filippo to catch up. <clears throat> Filippo had a small, a slow start, he didn't get any energies in the trash, which is what slowed him down. Here's the Ultra Ball, guys. Ultra Ball Mew out for what? What are we gonna get? Another uh, another Galarian Moltres possibly. Yeah, just throw everything. I mean, you have a pocket, po po uh, professor's research. No, no Moltres. Just gonna be another Roaring Moon. What? Where's this Moltres? Damn. Oh, that's true. His second Moltres is in the prizes. I don't think he even knew that. I don't think he counted for that. Oh, no. There's the judge. 
He also could have been just thinning out his deck because for this judge, so he doesn't put back a lot of cards. Potentially, maybe he actually knew he wasn't gonna get um, Galarian Moltres. He's noticing he's not gonna be able to play a second Roaring Moon. Okay, the Dark Patch is there. Never mind. He's happy. Only one more energy. Wow. Yeah, he didn't poke stop yet, did he? Oh no, he just attacked. Okay. Well, I think he did poke stop already. Okay, Robin needs to get a Roaring Moon out now. He has the Nest Ball. He has uh, Mirage Gate. But he needs... Uh, Think a little bit more. Starts with the Palbad back. Can we not activate Mirage Gate? One, two, three. Oh, we can't activate Mirage Gate yet. We're at six. That's why. Okay, well, I mean, we're going to get seven here. Not sure what the deal is here. Our brother Robin is going for it now. Switch Nest Ball. Um, yes, yes, switch. So maybe a Nest Ball is all we need. Yep. So Nest Ball into... Damn, it's not enough, guys. I'm not seeing enough pieces. Yeah, we need one more Confet try. We need a, an energy. No. Oh, there it is. There it is. We got a cold rest. We need a dark energy in our hand right now. We need a dark energy. That cold rest, cold rest draw was insane. Come on, you can do it. This ball, the Roaring Moon out. No, the Charizard. What? He takes so much power to power up right now. Why didn't you just pull a Roaring Moon out? He takes so much power up right now, he needs three energy. Oh my god, he got all the Mirage Gates he needs. It's crazy. Absolutely amazing. He's got the Mirage Gates. He has two Mirage Gates right now. Super Rod in hand. We can do this. We can actually get Charizard to three energy. Which is crazy. I don't even know why you would want to do that. Bro, it would have been... I guess attacking with Roaring Moon wouldn't have, wouldn't have been that much better. I don't know, man. Ugh, attacking with Roaring Moon. At least, uh, at least Roaring Moon. Uh, this next, uh, at least Charizard would have been a little bit more cheaper after we Roaring Moon. So this is a little bit weird that we went for this. We have the final energy in our hand. Switch. And we're off to the races here. We're going to attack. KO. So if we get... If Filippo can get rid of our hand somehow, he gets control. But then we get the comp face to try to help us draw more. So we'll see. Wow, he drew... He has a colorist in hand. Robin has colorist. He's fine. Robin is fine. Robin has everything he needs. He just needs to get a Mirage Gate.
There's the poke stop, Filippo. Um, gonna use it, then he's gonna discard it potentially. Wow, really bad poke stop. Poke, uh, professor's research, no, Iono. Yeah, Iono is really smart here. Disrupting Robin's big. Getting him to two cards is huge because now he cannot play the game. This is how you win against this die, this deck. Okay, now what are you gonna do? You need see now it would have been much easier to play a Roaring Moon. Call rest uh, to save us, which is insane. Filippo is probably mad. Um. Man, but we didn't draw anything. We didn't draw anything at all. We need a Mirage Gate. We need Nest Ball. We have Nest Ball, but we don't have Mirage Gate. Oh, yeah, we have Pokestop. Mirage Gate. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I guess we get one more turn. We get one more turn. Well, we actually get two turns. We just can't Nest Ball this turn. We can actually super rod this turn. Can we super rod our energy? Oh my god, yes, we got the Mirage Gate. Can we super rod back the Charizard? And get the KO here? Oh my god, I think we get the KO here. Super rod back the Charizard. Oh my god, we get the KO here, guys. And then Nest Ball. The Charizard. And then Mirage Gate double energy. Oh my god, Robin the G, he went for the double Charizard instead of uh, going for a Roaring Moon, then the Charizard, understanding that he can go for the Roaring Moon again, or for the Charizard again. He honestly got lucky, I'm not gonna lie, that second Super Rod was pulled out with his Colrus, which he got from the two top decks. That he he was given with the Iono. So that was a huge top deck. I'm not going to lie. Really lucky there. I mean, if he didn't draw that Colrus, he would have been stuck. He, he wouldn't have been able to play the game. All right. Robin Schulz versus Filippo. Filippo is our better player here. Is the highest seed right now. I don't know what that even means. He's just really ranked really high. He's at the top of the food chain right now. Filippo on the left versus Robin. Filippo starting with the squawk. Um, yep, I think that's a good position. Robin starting with the battle VIP. Really strong start. Double comfy to play because you have the cram already on board. And we can start with some draws. Also, Roaring Moon is in a really good position. He likes to go second. He's going to get that first KO. But it's not going to be great because Robin just doesn't let him get ahead, really. Robin is just not going to let Filippo get ahead. Because he just doesn't leave any two-prizers on board. Last, last game, we didn't see him leave a single two-prizer. Let's go, baby. We got the switch here. First crown. Oh, uh, yeah. We can toss out the psychic energy, right? I guess Claire is useless, too. Claire is low, low, low energy. Another comfy. We get double switch. Easy decision here. Nice. Okay. That's it, really. Oh, actually, we play. What is, what is that second card? Is that a... Clefecki or something? I don't What the hell is that in the back? Is that Clefecki? I don't know. Anyways, guys, uh, hope you're enjoying the show. Hello, how are you, Jewish kid? I'm doing great. How are you, my brother? I love, I love your people, man. People, they make good food, man. All right. Uh, Arthur Vessel start here, throwing away the Sada. Getting a look at the deck. Squawk is really strong start, allowing us to toss our whole hand. Easy retreat as well, one cost retreat. I mean, we're in a good position here. The problem is we don't have any more Pokemon. It's a little bit scary. Wow, immediately Palpad the Sada back into the deck. Because we know we're going to throw it out with Squawk. Wait, do we actually put the Pokestop back in first? 
I think we're gonna throw in the poke stop and then we're gonna go ahead and squawk. That makes sense. Jewish kid, hope you're enjoying the show. Say hi to all the Jewish, uh, the, all the Jews around you, my brother. And Pokemon Catcher. Might as well Pokemon Catcher, because you, you're going to throw this hand out anyways. Yeah, Squawk throws out the hand. What are we drawing? Oh, there it is, Battlefield IP. That's great. Exactly what we need is more Pico. To be honest, if we get double Dark Patch here, it's huge. Uh, Moltres Roaring Moon, is that what we're gonna get? Moltres Roaring Moon, yep. But we want to attack with that Morpico here, actually. It's really good position. I mean, we can play the Force Sealstone. Force Sealstone finds an energy switch. But we just attach for some reason. Ugh, damn, I wish we didn't attach. The Motivate only hits for 20, so it doesn't do anything. What we really want to do is we want to attack. With our Morpico. Let's see how Filippo makes this happen. He's missing some pieces. Okay, yeah, Pokestop can help him. Oh my god, he found the Dark Patch. He's active now, guys. Uh, an energy switch can get him active. It can happen with a Force Seal Stone. He's absolutely active. Filippo's active, guys. He's going to get the KO here, guys. I think he's going to get it with the Morpico, which is great. It's actually exactly what he needs. Sada. Wow. Amazing Sada. That's huge Sada right there. Um, Dark Patch, Energy Switch, that's game. Uh, not game, but like we're, we're really ahead. Dark Patch, Energy Switch, we're happy. Dark Patch into Morpico, and then Energy Switch with the Galeri Moltres. So Galeri Moltres is going to have to find Energy Switch with his uh, Force Seal Storm. That's the only way. Or that Trekking Shoes find us an Energy Switch. Retreat into Morpico, yep. Now Galeri Moltres. Oh, he already has the energy switch. I didn't know that. I didn't see that. Well, Galerian Moltres hasn't activated yet. I guess he doesn't want to activate Galerian Moltres. He doesn't want to put any energy on Galerian Moltres. The Amorpico attack is exactly what he needs. Keeping a one prizer on board is huge. Insane. It's so big for him. Come fay here to start. Get rid of the battle VIP into colorless. Easy, easy decision here. Colorless to start here after that. Um, damn, we need a lot of pieces. We need a counter catcher. We also need a freaking uh, nest ball. We need a counter catcher and we need a nest ball. We also need a mirage gate. We need a lot of pieces. We can't make it happen this turn. We can only leave some damage. We can only cram here. Okay, we do have the nest ball, but we just can't activate Mirage Gate, not yet. We need one more turn. Wait, 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 one, two, three, how, how much uh, lost zone? Five? Wait, well, how is it five? Then he just chorused? Is that the first chorus he ever did? I don't know. Whatever, man, we can't Mirage Gate this turn, but we can do it next turn. Okay, that's fine. At least we're catching up. Uh, we're, we're catching up. We're still fine because uh, we don't we don't play any two prizers on board for Robin, so he's fine. Robin needs to find a way to steal uh, that Greninja, but Iron Hand's just too expensive though, to be honest, <clears throat> to worry about.
Robin striking. What can you do here? As Robin, all he can do is just attack into the cram, get rid of it. Maybe if he can even try to get rid of one of those comfies even. But but he doesn't want to leave the cram, to be honest, on board. That makes sense. Force Steel Sun has not been used yet. We have an Iona in hand for Filippo. Could use it. Good turn to use it, to be honest. Uh, make the opponent's hand smaller. Filippo does not mind that Pokestop at all. Gets one more energy in the trash. Oh my god, there it is. He got the boss. We're going to pull in the Manaphy. What? Are we going to be able to Greninja next turn? We can't Greninja. I don't see a way he can Greninja, so I don't know, even know why the hell did he go for the Manaphy. He could have just went for the Comfe, slowed down uh, Robin a little bit. Because Robin is already at Lost Zone 5 only, and he needed that 2 Comfe. If he just got one, one of those Comfes, he would have never got to Lost Zone 7. But now he opened the opportunity for him to get to Lost Zone 7. Why didn't Filippo go after the Comfe? I mean, Robin does have a Comfe in hand anyway, so it doesn't matter, but still, I get to ask questions. <laughs> All right, let's see what we want to do here, Robin. What can you do? You can't cross switcher. You cannot Mirage Gate. No colors in hand. You can't Poke Gear though. You put the Poke Stop, so you hurt yourself. There, he's going to Pal Pad first, then he's going to go ahead and Mirage uh, Poke Gear. So really strong chance that he gets the colorus he needs. Not sure what the game plan here for Robin is. Besides getting the Charizard out. He really just needs a colorus in hand. So right now he needs to Poke Gear the chorus out somehow. Oh, he doesn't even have Poke Gear. I thought he had Poke Gear. Why did I think he had Poke Gear? So there's no chorus, guys. But we are at seven. There's Poke Gear. There's a Poke Gear. What the hell? Why didn't he use Poke Gear? I don't even know, bro. I don't even know what the hell is happening. So he never used Poké Gear. He's gonna get the Charizard now. <gasps> Charizard's not in the game. Charizard's not there. No. There's no Charizard. Wait, is it in the lock? Oh my God! We prized the Charizard. How did I not notice? I mean, Roaring Moon's fine, though. Roaring Moon's fine. Because we can get a, a return KO on his own Roaring Moon with our cram, so it's not that bad of a deal. But the problem is we're going to have to Mirage Gate one more time. And we don't want to spend those Mirage Gates right now. I don't think we have the black energy. Yeah, he needs to call Riss. Yeah, and then Colrus needs to find him a black energy. Literally, that's the only way for him to play the game. Or a second Mirage Gate. Or he cannot attack this turn. Uh-oh. There's a Colrus. Colrus has to find him a black energy. Or has find him a Mirage Gate. There it is. There's the Black Energy. Absolutely amazing. And a Heavy Ball so he can get the Charizard out. Nice. Yeah, throw out the Cram. You don't need the Cram. You have Super Rods. That's absolutely amazing. Now he can attach the Energy. 
Get the heavy ball out. Oh no, that's not a heavy ball. That's a nest ball. Never mind. I don't know why it looks like a heavy, a heavy ball. Super rod in some energy. Doesn't matter here at this point. We have everything we need. I don't know what Manaphy is going to do for us. We have Mirage Gate. Wait, you don't need to Mirage Gate. What he needs to do is he needs to... I don't know what Manaphy is doing. I still don't know what that dude is. What is this card? I hope to God they show it to us. On the side here. I have no idea what this card is. Psychic Pokemon. Is that a Cle Cle Clefairy? Clefecky? I don't know. Bro, this is uh, Vic's favorite deck here. Roaring Moon. Let's see if it actually deals with one of my favorite decks, the Lost Zone Toolbox. Lol, config got thrown out. So we use two Mirage Gauge, which is actually big, but it's not that big if we can get the Charizard here. Also, we don't need any energy next turn to get the KO, so we're going to be fine here. We're going to be fine here. He has to attack with the Galarian Moltres. He has to. I don't know why we bring in the Manaphy. It's not like the Greninja can attack in any way. I don't see a way for Greninja to attack. Can somebody show it to me? Besides them attaching it once once per turn. I don't see a way for Greninja to attack here. So I don't know why we keep getting Manaphy out. I want to see Greninja attacking. I want to see if this is actually possible. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't attack with the Greninja. What does Filippo want to do here? We're going to have to retreat into Galerian Moltres. That's the only thing that can attack is Mil Moltres. Because everything else can really hurt us. If we can also activate Greninja, that would be great. But I don't see a way for us to activate Greninja. I don't know why the hell we even play blue energy. Because we can never use Greninja ever. It's actually a waste of space. Switch card, yep, Galarian Moltres has to attack. Oh my god, he has to find one energy. Yo, that's the only way he can get this. No, 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 unless he has a... Uh, did he not use his uh, Galarian Moltres ability yet? Interesting, maybe he hasn't used it yet. He has Earthen Vessel, he has the energy. He hasn't attached yet. Okay, he's got the KO here. And we cannot retaliate onto the Galarian Moltres. Not unlike we wanted to retaliate on the Roaring Moon. R Robin Schultz does not have a great head. Does have the Chorus in hand though. <laughs> Filippo got the energies. Now he can reattach and go off. Filippo's having a good game here. Is that a Palpad? No, no, four seal stone, never mind.
What do you get? Another dark patch with the four seal stone? That's what it looks like. All right, so now we need to Charizard. That's uh, the best way for us is Charizard. Okay, we got a chorus out. We need a Charizard. Okay, Nest Ball is perfect. Mirage Gate. That's perfect. It's exactly what we needed. We need Charizard into Mirage Gate. And we can win game. No, no, no. We don't win game, but we get ahead. Oh, oh if we can cross switcher that Charizard. That would be amazing. Oh, we don't even have Charizard. Never mind. I keep thinking we have access to Charizard. We don't. We have to Roaring Moon. That sucks because we don't have access to Charizard. He's in the trash. Or he's in the prizes. Damn, but us Roaring Moon uh, we loses the game. But actually, yeah, us throwing one, we lose game. We have to rely on uh, Filippo not getting the dark patches he need. He needs. It's the only way we can win this game. This is our final Mirage Gate here. One last energy. No more cards in the deck. Yikes! Can't even activate the Charizard if we want to. There's the switch. And then we remove Pokestop, or do we use it first? No, we just get rid of it. Okay, now Filippo, if he gets a Dark Patch and an Energy, he wins game. Or he just needs a Dark Patch. No, he, he, Dark Patch doesn't win game again. Okay, Sada. Oh my god, Sada gets him there. Sada gets him there. An Energy Switch. That's game. Nice, Filippo. Good job, Filippo. Filippo gets to the tie. Looks like it's going to tie again. Oh my god. Good on Filippo to win that game. Unfortunate. Uh, we just could not play the game. Uh, I guess we prized our Charizard. Is that what happened? I can't believe it. Where is it? Yeah, we prized our Charizard. That's what happened. That's literally why we lost the game. Damn, that's how much this deck needs Charizard. All right, then we f uh, we're gonna tie. Basically, what happens is they tie. They never ever finish this game. Right? They never ever ever get to finish this game. Yeah, they call time and look, he just scoops. Yep. They're tied. Um, interesting game. Uh, Roaring Moon. Uh, was actually having a bad matchup against this Lost Zone deck. He just uh, prized the Charizards. And it really hurt him badly, badly.